guys it's your girl schemes here back with another tutorial I'm pretty much gonna do a simple quick everyday makeup look for you guys I'm on my way out the door to go to my daughter's school so yeah hope you guys enjoy this video um I hope guys you can follow it again my background and my lighting and everything is a little off still I'm still making up my beauty room so stay tuned for my beauty room tour when I'm done so yeah um let's get right into this video without me rambling a million miles an hour so love you guys bye okay guys so let's get started I'm going to use my elf blush palette and I'm going to take that darker rose color and blend that into my transition area so pretty much the area between my brow bone and my crease and I'm going to blend 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 those colors into my uh, transition area until I have built up enough intensity that I like so yeah blend blend now I'm gonna go into my coastal scent reveal 2 palette and I'm gonna take that cranberry color right there along with a BH cosmetics brush and I'm gonna blend that into my outer V and then go back in with a big fluffy brush to blend those two harsh lines I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralize in Cheeky Bronze and I'm going to take that and put that for a brow bone highlight. I'm going to pack that on with a e.l.f. MAC Shading Brush or whatever they call that brush, pretty much the typical dollar line brush. And I'm going to take my fluffy brush again and blend those two colors together. Seamlessly. Now I'm going to go back in with that same MAC Mineralize and Cheeky Bronze and I'm going to spray that brush along with the shadow, well, the bronzer, and pack that on my lid with some Fix Plus. Blend it out. Now I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetic Dewy Time Palette and take that reddish brown color and put that on my outer V to deepen up that area. Now I'm going to take my NYC Liquid Liner in black and I'm going to make a fairly decent sized wing. And I'm going to have a eyeliner tutorial for you guys coming up so stay tuned for that. I'm going to pretty much show you guys how to apply it with a liquid and also with a gel or with the brush and also I might even throw in a how to do it with a pencil. Now I'm going to put on some mascara like I told you guys in my last tutorial. I'm really not a big fan of mascaras only because I wear a lot of falsies. So yeah. Um, just using random um, mascara, I think it's NYC or, or Wet n Wild. Now I'm going to go in with my uh, foundation in Black Radiance. And I think the shade is brownie, if I'm not mistaken. Then I'm going to spray my face with my hydrating spray from City Color Cosmetics. And I'm going to go in with a uh, powder brush from cosmetics hot color collection. Now I'm going to go in my with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Cafe. I know you guys are going to be like, yo, Ski, what's really good with this concealer? This shit is light as hell. But it is what it is. This is what I like and this is what I do. Don't let nobody stop you from what you like to do and what makes your confidence high. So therefore, like I said, this is what works for me. This is what I like. So this is what I do. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to put those on the parts where I like to highlight and those are where it is right now as you can see. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques um, blending sponge, spray that with the hydrating spray and blend out my concealer. Blend, blend, blend and I'm going to take my big, you know the same powder brush that I used to blend in my foundation and blend out the harsh lines. Watch this magic happen. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite 
black radiance conceal stick in the color 8003 which is the darkest shade of this collection um and it's pretty much a concealer but i use the darker shade as my concealer stick my contour stick so yeah i put those in the hollows of my cheeks along my jawline over my forehead alongside the nose bridge of the nose my cupid's bow area underneath my lip to uh, make it appear a little bigger which i know i have big lips anyway but again this is what i like and yeah i'm gonna take a stippling brush from elf a small stippling brush spray with the hydrating spray and yeah blend that out oh i love the hydrating spray on there go with the fix fluid so yeah just to blend all those colors in and what I mean colors to blend the contour into the concealer. Now I'm going to take this contour brush from e.l.f. and blend out the sides of my nose. There we go. Blend, blend. And I'm going to go back in with that same powder brush from with my foundation and blend everything together so it can be nice and smooth. Face powder. I know you're my, my, my West Indian friends will be like, yes, girl, yes. But yes, may I bake my face now? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go in and do this technique called baking. I'm gonna put that powder all over my highlighted areas where I put my lighter concealer. So yes, I'm going to bake my face. I'm gonna look like a Big before it, before the rules. <laughs> I guess that's the only way I can describe it. So now I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl eyeshadow, and I believe the color is brown smudger or brown molder. Not really want to touch it. I don't know what the abbreviation for those letters is, but it's brown eyeshadow, and I'm gonna use that to set my um, contour cream and every cream guys have to be set with a powder so I'm setting my concealer with my airspun powder I'm going to set my black radiance cream concealer with the brown cover girl powder so yeah and I'm going to take a little small um contour brush and I got this from the Soho Disney collection it's pretty much the same brush just with a smaller version and I'm gonna put that along the sides of my nose we'll use that brush to apply the shadow alongside my nose so I can get more of a precise look now I'm gonna take my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Cold Pencil and put that on my waterline So I'm going to put those on there and have it sit there so the glue can get tacky. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go in with my Studio Fix powder from MAC in MW48. And blend this all over my face to dust off all that extra powder. So blend, blend, blend. Now I'm going to go in with a Pure Cosmetics. Compact in Press Powder Mineral Makeup 4 in 1 in um, a golden color. And the only reason why I'm putting this over my airspun powder is because the airspun powder has a white undertone, and I like the fact that this has a yellow undertone. So, yeah, I'm gonna pack that all over the colors where I put my uh, concealer color, highlight color. Now, I'm gonna go in with my CoverGirl Queen in Ebony Bronze. And I'm going to use this to bronze up my face, give it back some type of glow and some definition. I don't really like when my face looks really flat, so yeah, this is going to warm up my skin. And um, the brush I'm using is some brush from my best belief CVS called a Renewal Stippling Brush. Now I'm going to go on with my Milani um, Baked Blush in the color Coralina. 
hell out of this damn blush. But yeah, I'm going to put that on and I'm going to put it on with my Eco Tools fan brush. Until next time, stay sweet, stay sexy, and stay you most of all. Subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and like my videos. And if you want to see anything new, please comment in the comment section below. And again, see you guys next time. I love you guys.